Hi, I'm Beth from Abe Books, and today I'm here to tell you about W. Heath Robinson. The W stands for William. Has anyone ever described something to you using the phrase, it's a real Heath Robinson? If so, then one, they were probably British, and two, what they were trying to tell you was that something was unnecessarily complicated. W. Heath Robinson was a 19th and early 20th century artist, best known for his drawings of elaborate and complex mechanical inventions. The machines he imagined involved the most confounding and lengthy processes imaginable and resulted in the most simple outcome, such as an extensive system of pulleys, tubes, chutes, weights, bells, and whistles, whose mechanical performance would eventually result in the removal of a wart from one's head. As you can imagine, these contraptions were both humorous and striking, and caught the eye of various companies who hired Robinson to draw ad campaigns for them. But Robinson only turned to the humorous cartooning, both mechanical and political, out of financial necessity to make ends meet. His real artistic passion lay with landscape and nature paintings, often in watercolor. While his cartooning business was more lucrative and remains the work for which he is best known today, he continued to pursue his passion for the natural world and more beautiful style of art right up until his death. His work often included elements of nature, both real and imagined, such as detailed floral and forest depictions, fantastical creatures such as fairies and mermen, and pastoral, delicate scenes, many of which were influenced by the Art Nouveau movement of the time. While Robinson enjoyed moderate success with his beloved paintings and outdoor scenes, he was overwhelmingly popular for the political and machine cartoons, earning him the nickname The Gadget King. 